Good morning. I am the Moon Mama. How's everybody doing today? So many sounds going on out. All the crows are crowing and all the parrots are squeeching and squirreling, whatever that noise is that they make. But one of the things that I love to do is when I see an animal, I look up the meaning, the totem meaning of it. So if I see a crow, I look up the totem meaning of it to know like, oh, well, what message is that bringing to me right now? You know, what is it that the universe is saying to me because the universe is constantly speaking to us in signs and symbols. Most of us just don't speak the universal language, which is the signs and symbols, the energy. Everything is energetic, energetically based here. So everything has an energetic meaning and, and everything is for you. Like the universe is constantly trying to communicate with us and give us the signals and the direction that will lead us to ourselves. <laughs> and, um, but we are, you know, our minds are so focused on things that are not, that are secular. Our minds are focused on work and television shows and money and our children and what they need and, you know, what our partners aren't doing and, um, if we like our bodies or not, or if we need a new car or home and food and money, like those are the things that we're focused on that we're outwardly focused is my point. We're focused on the outer expression when the reality is that our internal experience is the real gift, the real opportunity for us to know ourselves, to have success, to have happiness and peace and all of those kinds of things. If you just look inside of yourself. And so the moon today is in Taurus and um, today is a Jupiter day. Jupiter is the day that governs Thursday and Jupiter Jupiter is the planet that governs Thursday. And Jupiter is the planet of expansion and blessings and um, and vision and optimism and faith. And Jupiter is currently going to be conjunct Pluto um, today. And Pluto is the planet of destruction and life and death and transformation at the deep level. It's also the planet that governs our sexuality. Um, and our ability to be able to transform energy and transmute energy through our sexual exchange. And so when Jupiter and Pluto come together in Capricorn, it you know, we see what we're going through. All of our structures are coming down. Jupiter is now crossing where Saturn has crossed um, Pluto, where Mars has crossed Pluto. So we're in the midst of some really big undoings. Um, but while we're in undoings, we're also, everything is always happening. So right now we're, most of the energy is focused on our undoing, but there's still energy focused on our creating and our coming together because that is how the universe works. The universe is always balanced and wherever you put your attention is where you're going to have the experience, right? So everything is always happening. There's always death and destruction. There's always life and birth. Um, there's always decay and, you know, and then there's always renewal. So their opposites go hand in hand. So as we are experiencing this death and destruction with Jupiter coming into contact with Pluto, if we focus on the, the benefit of it, the opportunity within it, then we will experience that we will experience like, oh, in your psyche, you will experience it. You will get information towards the new thing. You will um, experience new possibilities in ways that may not have been in alignment with it. And because it's always as above, so below. So I just encourage you during this time to Focus on what it is you desire and not what it is you don't. I've been saying that for the past few days, but it's really significant. And while the moon is in Taurus, it's it's about focusing on your value. What do you value? What feels good to you? What feels good in your body? What things make you feel good? What things restore you? What kind of music uplevels you and inspires you? Um, I've been listening to those videos of them singing, he's got the whole world in his hand. I think Tyler Perry's been sending him around and everyone, like there's so many celebrities in this video singing. It's so beautiful, like to hear it's such a sweet, simple song being sung at this time. And it's like a way that for us to come together and hold one another. And so really the Taurus moon is about 
you feeling good and doing things that make you feel good, using your sensual energy. And as we're being told to distance ourselves from one another, <clears throat> the way that we get to find value and pleasure <clears throat> mostly is, you know, just in new ways with ourselves. So you can take a warm bath and rub your feet. You can um, give yourself a head massage. You can do self-pleasuring. You can use crystals and oils and herbs that will make you feel good. You can pre prepare a meal that is really um, scrumptious to yourself. You can order food that you really enjoy and that will make you feel you know, intact in a new way that maybe you haven't been able to access since all of this has been going on. You can spend time in prayer and meditation listening to music, doing things that really up-level your spirit. You can read poetry or a good book or, you know, watch your favorite movie or something like that that would really inspire you. You can do anything that will give you a sense of value because that is very necessary while Jupiter is crossing Pluto for you to focus your energy in a way that is desirable and not undesirable because in doing so you activate a new experience. <sighs> we are going through so much. We are moving through so much and <clears throat> most of this stuff was foretold, you know, thousands of years ago and um and you know, that's just how it is. But the thing that I feel is most significant and most important, yesterday I had a moment where I got on the phone with a friend of mine or a teacher of mine, and we were just talking, and then I, I felt myself kind of like breaking down inside. Like I felt myself, my brain just kind of fizzing out. And then within a split moment, I was crying. And I realized, I said to her, I said, oh, I didn't realize I was holding this, that I was really, that I'm holding sadness. I can feel what's going on in our country and it makes me sad because I see so clearly how we have been mi misconditioned. We've been conditioned incorrectly. How we are, we're unfamiliar with cycles, how we are out of touch with nature and the earth, how we mostly don't know ourselves and don't understand how we function and that we are designed to function in a certain way, which is really in alignment with the cycles of the universe. And, you know, now that I've studied astrology and understand, and when I hear people talk about evil and demons and things like that, I, now I know that that means to be void of nature, like to, to live outside of the cycles that God created is, is, an evil, right? Not like a, not like some evil that is, you know, um, like a monster. It's an evil because it takes you away from yourself. <laughs> and that is, that's what it does. So it's very important for us to, to understand the moon and the sun and what it's doing, because that will give us a new way of thinking, a new way of seeing the world. Now that I study astrology and understand the the planets and their frequencies. When I see a bird, I understand that that bird is connected to an energetic frequency and that that frequency has a meaning. When I see a butterfly, I know this. When I see a squirrel, when I, you know, when I see the moon in a certain phase, that moon is giving me a message because I understand the frequency of that and I'm and I'm and I align myself to the greater meaning of things and it helps me and I just I feel so sad sometimes that so that most of us don't have access to that because we've just been misinformed and it makes me sad. And yesterday I had a moment of just being like, I'm sad. I'm sad that we are ignorant. I'm sad that we don't know ourselves. I'm sad that we don't have the power that is ours and that we rely on this system that really doesn't have our best interests at heart. And so with that, I'm just praying for us all to have everything that we need to wake up, to be who we're born to be, and for us to have peace of mind and healing and wholeness in ways that we never imagined before. I'm the Moon Mama. If there's anything I can do to support you today, please let me know. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.